the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant, stylized as SB-1, corporate designation minus $100, is Sikorsky aircraft and Boeing entry for the United States Army's future vertical lift program to succeed the joint multi-role initiative. It is a combined helicopter with rigid coaxial rotors, powered by two Honeywell T-55s, and made its first flight on the 21st of March 2019. Sikorsky Aircraft and Boeing jointly produced the medium-sized demonstrator which they named SB-1 Defiant, also known as SB-1, for the first phase of the program. Originally planned to fly at the end of 2017. Its first flights were delayed in April 2017 to early 2018. Once flight testing begins, the aircraft will be evaluated by the Army for further development. Sikorsky led the development of the first phase with an aircraft based on their previous Sikorsky X-2 design. Boeing plans to lead the second phase, the Mission Systems Demonstrator phase. The Boeing Sikorsky team is seen to have the advantage of their large industrial base which could generate broader support from Congress. Their transport helicopter design is the most widely used in the Army today and the U.S. Army has little interest in tiltrotor technology in Bell's delivery. As of 2013, Sikorsky and its partners have spent $250 million on the X-2 and radar. The team and aircraft will separate from the S-97 radar. The team felt confident in the SB-1 Defiant and paid more than half the cost of its design. The company's last collaborating project was the Ra-66 Comanche, which started in the 1980s and cost $7 billion before it was cancelled in 2004. They said factors beyond their control, such as budget cuts, creeping requirements, and the long development period led to problems with the Comanche and not the team's dysfunctionality. Under the Comanche program, each company makes a different aircraft part. For JMR, Employees from both companies will work together. The team names the suppliers in 2015. Swift Engineering Inc. supports the program with the bulk of the airframe structure designed and manufactured at the company's facility in San Clemente, California by an integrated team of Swift and Boeing employees. The timeline for the first flight has missed several times. Originally slated for 2017. Delays arose due to a requirement to implement automatic fiber placement blade manufacturing at the request of the U.S. Army. Further delays resulted in the first flights derailed after the summer of 2018. Dynamic systems such as turboshafts, transmissions and rotors are scheduled for testing in West Palm Beach, Florida, in late October 2018, before a ground run in November. With the first flight reaching 200 knots, 230 miles per hour, 370 kilometers per hour, within six months. The first prototypes were launched in December 2018, and the first flights were pushed back around early 2019. Ground operations commenced in January 2019. 15 hours of ground testing were required prior to the first flight. The first flight took place on March 21st. 2019 at the Sikorsky West Palm Beach site in Florida. In summer 2019, flights were suspended to address a bearing problem in the main rotor. Flight trials resumed September 24, 2019, with the aircraft reaching a speed of 211 knots in October 2020. Sikorsky and Boeing say the design will have a cruising speed of 250 knots, 290 miles per hour, 460 kilometers per hour. But the smaller range is due to the old T-55 engine. The new engine, the future affordable turbine engine, FATE, will meet 229 NMI, 264 mil, 424 kilometers, radius requirements, compared to conventional helicopters. 
The counter-rotating coaxial main rotor and propeller propeller offer a 100 knot speed increase, 115 miles per hour, 185 kilometers per hour, 60% extended combat radius, and 50% better performance in extremely hot hover performance. Sikorsky said that the X2 design was not suitable for heavy lifting and instead suggested the CH-53K for the heavy lifting and the tiltrotor for the Ultra class. However, Sikorsky plans to build the 30.000 pound, 14.000 kilogram, JMRTD class, with a cabin 50% larger than the Black Hawk, at full scale to dispel any doubts about the scalability of the X2 technology. Sikorsky, Boeing said the SB-1 would be fast and agile, with fast acceleration and deceleration, fast side-to-side -side movement, and the ability to hover with the tail up and down. The Rebel demonstrators will be supported by the Honeywell T-55, which powers the CH-47 Chinook. It will be slightly modified to operate better at slower propeller speeds, up to 85% RPM. Thank you for barking. 